In this video we are going to be looking at this Canon AE-1 35mm film SLR camera equipped with the older chrome ring style f1.8 50mm lens. And this one is in quite nice cosmetic condition. Uh, there's only one thing that I'm going to draw your attention to and that's when we open up the back and we look at this shutter curtain right here and I don't know how well that shows, but I, there's some wrinkles here. Now the curtain is all the way across, and but I'm going to uh, actuate the shutter on the bulb setting here. And we can see the curtain that is pulled over has these wrinkles in here. And it, it's still very quick, and it's very quiet, and it seems to work well. But that is not quite normal and I don't know if that will affect how it works or not. That's not ideal. But anyway, other than that, I thought what I'd do is just go through the uh, shutter speeds here. And as you can hear, it does not have the characteristic squeal that so many of these have. And so here's that one one thousandth of a second. One five hundred. One two fiftieth. 1 1 25th, 1 60th, 1 30th, 1 15th, and I'm going to stop the lens down a bit so we can see here as we go down 1 8th, 1 4th, we can see the lens is stopping down properly quickly, 1 half, 1 full second, and two full seconds. In addition to the bulb setting where it just stays uh, actuated as long as I hold the button down it completes the cycle when I let up. So the shutter seems to be working well this way. There's just that issue with the uh, curtain and I'm not sure what effect that might have. Here's the self timer test. Here we see the light blinking right here now. And we'll watch as it completes its cycle. And there, so we saw that worked well. And then it's also got a shutter lock here so that you can't accidentally actuate the shutter in your camera bag. And then you just simply flip that back. So uh, let's take a look at the lens. Now this is a uh, very nice lens with nice damped focusing that's very nice and smooth. The aperture ring has nice clicks and it also has the aperture uh, locking setting at the A which is used for the, uh, this, the uh, camera to figure out the aperture. This is a shutter priority camera and you set the shutter speed here that you want to use and then the camera picks as long as it's within range it picks the right aperture for you. Now I see a little bit of damage to this foam right there that looks pretty rough so that would need replacing. Um, other than that though the camera is in very nice condition cosmetically. The battery door is very nice. There's a battery in here. I don't know how long that's been in there and how good it is but it will stay with it. door locks properly. Many of these cameras have broken battery doors and this is quite a nice one. Lens goes back on. Turn the breech lock ring. It has a soft and pliable rubber eye cup still. Still has the little Canon hot shoe protector and that fits in nice. And if we open up the back again by lifting up the crank we can see looks nice in there. The only issue is when you cock it and you see that uh, wrinkled curtain there. Um, moving over here to the back, I don't feel a lot of light seal residue here, so maybe the light seals in the back are, are pretty good, though this feels pretty dried out here in the hinge area. So it does need some work. It needs a little bit of a CLA, I would imagine, just for uh, general maintenance. Possibly something on that curtain. 
the lens I looked through um, with it set on the bulb setting with it wide open toward an LED flashlight and it looked pretty good. I, I just saw some internal dust but no fungus so that's good. Comes with a Canon lens cap and then I did also have a few pieces of paperwork. There is a, a dealer record of Canon purchase and it shows the AE-1 body and the serial number here matches the serial number on this camera and the serial number of the lens matches the serial number on the lens and then I also have the owner record and this has the name and address of some people that used to own this and that's on there as well and then there's a couple of books on Canon FD lenses and so those all go with it and it does have the original Canon strap with the Canon name here it has a Canon battery holder strung onto it for carrying extra batteries. So, fairly nice as example of the AE-1. A little bit of concern about the shutter and uh, that is, and the light seal possibly and that foam that the mirror flips up against and that is really why I have declared it for parts are not working. It's a pretty good example of a camera to start with if you're going to get a, a nice one and have it fixed. This one does not have a lot of scuffing on the bottom and I don't see any denting on the top. The, uh, the area here where the hinge is that's still nice and black that's usually all worn off. A little bit of wear right there but um, surprisingly nice example of this camera.